So we heard the Atmo booth, and this is a really small chip. The chip is right there. This is really small. What is this? This is a uh, 2.1 by 2.1 uh, SOC, which is our brand new uh, Bluetooth low energy or Bluetooth smart product. It's built from the grounds up for IoT applications. It's the world's smallest uh, Bluetooth low energy chip, lowest power consumption, uh, beating best in class today in the market by about 35% beating the area by about 40%, beating the leakage current by about 60%, and beating the average current on advertising mode by 300% versus what's available today in the market. This it's, is, this is, a, this is a, how, how can you do this? How can you make it so small and so... That's our secret sauce, but it, in reality it's a result of focusing on developing IoT-based product from the ground up not repurposing products that were developed two, three, four years ago and just slapping a logo for IoT applications on it and say, okay, I got an IoT product. So the other people are doing kind of like uh, Bluetooth for, uh, let's say, uh, headphones and music and stuff and then re just reusing that for they, IoT? They, they've had a lot of products sitting around for consumer applications, for remote control, for mouse. Um, this is built specifically for IoT applications. It's built specifically for coin cell, drum cell batteries. On um, coin cell, drum cell batteries, um, for some of the applications, it lasts as high as nine years. Nine so year battery life for a little battery. battery. For the little battery. For the little round little battery. For the little round battery. That's right. And, and that's what they. What happens when you put your focus on developing something from the ground up for IoT type of applications? So, what is an IoT application? Is it like a, an application that just uh, uh, beams once in a while and tells uh, once a, in a while where a, it is? It's a command and control. Uh, for BLE, a lot of people use it actually for sync up for uh, different kinds of uh, uh, gadgets or things around the house. But it wakes up every so often, um, it does something, it reports something, or it's set uh, based on a business logic that it sets on a threshold, and when something happens, it wakes up, it reports what happened and what the result of it is. Uh, they, um, from an application point of view, BLE is taking over lots of different applications around the home. It communicates with your um, smartphone, which is prevalent in everybody's um, household. This particular chip is built based on Cortex-M0. Uh, it comes with 128K of um, um, ROM, which is completely available. Um, almost 96K of it is available for application space for lots of uh, lots of space for you to develop the applications. It's a self-contained chip. There are multiple versions of it that they come. So since it's so small, does that allow for smaller things? Very smaller small devices. Foot, very small footprint. Um, um, very low power consumption. It, this is the kind of things that integrates IoT into the background of our everyday life. Like I said, with this size, imagine the, the um, opportunity of the type of products that you can design. This is what used to be called in academia the magic dust, right? It's a. Uh, this can be integrated into clothes and walls and floors and. Everything. Where is it going to go? Like, is, is it like Beacon? Is this... Um... That's certainly one of the applications. So uh, the demo specifically... Is that a Beacon? Up. It is for Beacon applications. That's what the demo is set up for. So when people talk about beacons, they would like to have millions and millions of beacons everywhere. That's right. So that's, that can work for that. And, and, and for that, again, um, imagine when you have hundreds of these around the house or any, um, any type of building, um, when you have to change battery on these things. So it's really important to have something that, that from a power consumption perspective, that's the lowest power consumption po possible. And the beauty of this chip is with as low a leakage current, as low a uh, transmit and receive current, um, that your uh, coin cell battery lasts a very long time. So you don't have to send technicians to go and change batteries constantly because you're gunning and beaconing applications and you're using Bluetooth low energy. So when is this available? Uh, this is available in uh, sample to the market 
by the end of March and mass productions by June. By June, uh, this is the latest in Bluetooth technology right here. Mm -hmm.